Hey everybody, it's Arnie here from EcoCycle.ca and today we're going to be talking about these small forward neutral reverse gearboxes you can buy from Amazon or eBay and how you can pair these with a set of uh, Comet style or Comet 30 series CVT clutches and the 212 style engine like a 212 Predator that you can buy at Harbor Freight or Princess Auto here in Canada and how you can use a power pack bracket to put all these components together and make it real easy to power your project. So we offer two styles of bracket. Uh, we have the 212 power pack light and we also have the power pack deluxe. So the difference between the light and the deluxe is primarily the fact that the deluxe will accommodate a jack shaft kit as well as a bolt-on battery tray if your engine has electric start and you really need that extra gearing in whatever project that you're building. But for most people, the uh, 212 Power Pack Lite will be all the bracket that you're going to need. And this bracket will mount that gearbox. It'll mount the engine, the 212 engine, and it'll put these clutches and everything will be very easy to line up and install into your particular project. So this is the gearbox that you're going to get from Amazon or eBay or any retailer of your choice. And you can have these for around $150 US nowadays. And they come with a couple different sprockets. So you have a choice of using a 35 or a 41, 420 style chain. They come with all the shifter, the linkage, the bracketry, and uh, pretty well everything you're going to need to put it into the power pack bracket. Uh, the power packs come with all the hardware that's going to be required and you're going to be able to stick this thing in there within a matter of minutes as opposed to having to try to fabricate your own bracket system uh, which can be a little bit of work. So uh, yeah this is the gearbox holds about a quarter of a liter of gear oil and it has a 5 8 diameter input shaft and it's held into your power pack bracket with three bolts. This is an example of a 30 series CVT clutch kit that you're also going to probably source from Amazon or eBay and they're about a hundred bucks and they come with the primary clutch, the secondary clutch, it comes with the CVT backing plate as well as this cover and it's going to give you all the components you need to install the clutches with your gearbox. If you're using the gearbox you're not going to be needing the CVT backing plate and you're not going to be able to use this cover because it bolts onto the plate. However, if you're just going to be running this, you can still use the power pack bracket because the power pack bracket will accommodate the CVT backing plate and if you ever do want to upgrade to the gearbox later in the future, it's easy to do that because you're going to have all the components and uh, you just need to pull this thing out and put the gearbox in, use your clutches and you're off to the races. So you have a choice which power pack bracket kit you're going to need for your project. The This is the light and this is the deluxe. And you can see that there are a lot of similarities between these two. The way that the gearbox bolts in, the engine plates, the position of the engine, it's all the same. Uh, most people will only need the power pack light. Uh, the difference between the power pack light and the power pack deluxe is the deluxe adds this provision for a jack shaft and if you need the gearing and you may need that gearing if you have some large tires that you want to drive or you want to just try to reduce the overall diameter of your rear sprocket so you can increase your ground clearance then the jack shaft will give you an additional three to one gear reduction ratio on top of whatever gearing you have already got uh, built into your project. So you can achieve some pretty incredible gear reduction by using the jack shaft kit. Uh, otherwise the deluxe 
will also provide for a built-in battery mount and uh, it will just bolt on to the bracket here and it will house a YTX 9BS battery and it'll put that right underneath the starter motor so you have uh, the opportunity to really shorten down your electric cable leads and keep everything nice and compact as you can see on the Deluxe here. So let's have a look at that Deluxe. All right, so this is a 212cc engine mounted on the Power Pack Deluxe. And you can see how the gearbox is nicely installed into the unit. The Power Pack is designed so that you have access to all your adjusting hardware, such as your cable adjusters. It allows you to get on your cable rotor here. There's a little window on the side of the unit there. All your engine mounting hardware is very easy to access and it puts everything in the right spot. So this unit's using the 30 series CVT clutch set. Again, all these come in the kit and it puts everything right in the perfect center to center spacing and it also is alignable left to right so that you can get optimum belt uh, belt alignment and this one as I mentioned the deluxe it includes this option for a jack shaft so the the jack shaft is driven directly off of the gearbox output and this is a three to one gear reduction here and the kits that I'm supplying come with a 420 16 tooth output sprocket but uh, i can work with you on that if you need something unique it's fully adjustable so you can adjust your chain tension on your jack shaft chain and then the whole power pack unit is on slots you can see that they're on slots they're up based on 12 inch centers and that will allow you to adjust the complete power pack unit to your final drive so your final drive is going to be on this side with the Deluxe. It's going to be opposite on uh, the light because you're just driving direct off the gearbox. But this one's going to come right out to your drive axle. And then you're going to adjust your final drive chain tension by just sliding this power pack unit, this whole engine module, front to back. And you get about an inch of adjustment there, which is plenty. Uh, also, you'll see that we got the YTX 9 BS battery mounted and it's nice and tidy up underneath the starter there and It just fits in there like a glove and you're gonna be able to cut feet off of your Cable leads so you can keep everything nice and compact and tidy in there. So so yeah So that is the, the deluxe all the cables are routed nicely there the windows in the side of the unit give you access to all your uh, attachment hardware so everything's nice and easy to get at and if you like that you can find some of our assembly videos online where we uh, put these things together we've done a few videos there so uh, check out uh, the channel for more information okay and this is the power pack light and you can see it's very similar to the deluxe but it dispenses with the jack shaft and the battery tray and the power pack light runs the drive chain directly off of the gearbox and right to the rear axle so this axle here this is uh something that we also offer and in some degree uh the frame you can find a drawing of so you can replicate this we call it the j frame and this is the small block version and it is drilled for the eight inch centers of the light as well as the 12 inch centers of the Deluxe. So either one of those power packs will interchange on this J frame. And it also features the Yamaha Banshee brake kit that we have a kit for online as well. And that uses the caliper and disc brake from a Yamaha Banshee. As far as drives go, uh, this is featuring the 35 chain. And we can get a little more gear reduction using the 35 chain as opposed to the 40 chain and or the 41 420 chain. So, okay, so on this particular example, uh, we've got a 78 tooth rear sprocket here. And on the gearbox, we have a 12 tooth 
driver. So 78 divided by 12. So that's going to give you a 5.83 to 1 gear reduction. Now bear in mind that the gearbox also has a 1.26 reduction built in. So you take that 1.26, you times it by 5.83, and you get a total gear reduction of 8.19 inches. So you can uh, you can gear it probably a little bit different from that, but all of this with fits within the confines of the J-frame. And uh, for most vehicles, uh, an eight to one gear reduction is going to be plenty. If we look at the back of the unit here, you can see the uh, Yamaha Banshee brake caliper and rotor. And our Banshee brake kit includes all the necessary bracketry spacers, but you got to buy. And the, and the hub adapter, of course, for the rotor. But you need to buy the stuff, like you need to get your own axle, you need to buy this rotor and this caliper off of Amazon. They're both uh, quite reasonably priced still, which is great. Uh, the hub adapter here, this is a ARC unit. It uses the standard five and a quarter on six bolt split sprocket. They're nice because they're relatively inexpensive, the aluminum versions, and it's easy to change your gear ratios. So if you want to change around with your gears, it's easy to do that with the with the split sprockets and that particular adapter. But maybe you don't want the gearbox yet. So just use your CVT backing plate. It fits in here like a glove and allows you to upgrade to the gearbox whenever you want. The CVT backing plate in this configuration also can use the jack shaft kit if you're choosing the deluxe. So it's an easy upgrade. If you already got the clutch kit, you don't have money for the gearbox yet, then uh, pick yourself up a power pack bracket, start off with your CVT backing plate, and upgrade when, when you have to reverse out of something and you don't have reverse, because reverse is an awfully handy feature. So. So there you have it, folks. That is the Power Pack lineup for the small blocks, the 212 Predators, the small block GX engines, and of course it fits all these other engines too, but I just haven't validated those. So, uh, But the bolt patterns are all the same, the crank centers are all the same, and anything that is in this class should be able to work with this bracket. So if you like it, check it out, ecocycle.ca. We're in stock, we're shipping still to the U.S. for free, so check it out and uh, pick yourself up a power pack bracket and uh, get your project started. Okay, well thanks very much for checking out the video, so whether you're using the power pack light and the CVT backing plate, or you want to use a reverse gearbox with the light, or you want to upgrade to the deluxe, then we've got you covered for all your small black got you covered for all your small block needs and uh, if that's not enough there's always the big blocks over there yeah so uh, big blocks also same same concept 420 cc's uh, larger gearboxes larger everything more money more cost more weight more power so up to you see ya